You can already see the comments in the comments section already. <laughs> Jim, you're not playing the objective. B is all the way over there. Why are you going over here? You gonna spawn camp? No, I'm not gonna spawn camp. I'm I'm gonna reverse spawn camp. Eastern Europe is made up in a way that that really promotes spawn camping in a sense of top tier. It's so easy to get across this map in a high tier tank like this. I'm just coming up here to intercept anything that happens to, happens to uh, wander up this way so that it doesn't get into our spawn. Where are they? Shit, there's two of them. <laughs> Anybody else? Now we go spawn camp. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another World Thunder video. Today we're going to talk about the Leclerc. Or the Leclerc, depending on how you want to pronounce it. This is this is France's top main battle tank in War Thunder. And it features everything you could possibly want in a modern MBT. Good mobility, a powerful cannon, and reasonably good armor. The Leclerc features one of the strongest turret faces in the game thanks to its many layers of composite armor. However, its turret armor is a bit hit and miss. Some spots are really well armored, while others are a little bit weak. This is pretty typical for top tier vehicles. Very few have consistently good turret armor and all have the same weakness, a weak breach area. The Leclerc has the same weakness, shoot it in the breach and its cannon is disabled, or worse. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap to the enemy for hitting a shot like that. I didn't expect him to stop so soon and get that shot off. That was a pixel perfect shot. My favorite aspect to the player is its mobility. It's what really caught me off, off guard when I initially unlocked it. When you look at this thing, you can't help but notice it's got a rather bulky appearance. It even has these side skirts which add a little bit of additional weight. And yet the Leclerc really doesn't have much trouble moving about the battlefield. The tank is nearly 54 tons, but it's powered by a 1474 horsepower engine, giving it a weight, excuse me, giving it a power to weight ratio of 27.4, which just beats the Amer the American M1A1 at 26.5 horsepower per ton. The end result of this is you have a tank that can get from the spawn to an optimal position just as soon as the enemy can, if not sooner. And then we have the devastating 120mm cannon on this monster. To speed up the devastation, you actually have an autoloader mechanism. Every six seconds you can pump out an APF SDS shell after, of course, you upgrade from the stock Heat FS. The Heat FS isn't bad, but APF SDS is definitely the way to go if I were you. Not only does it have great penetration, but it's also incredibly easy to aim thanks to its high muzzle velocity. And still, some of the more difficult tanks you're going to face will be the American M1A2 and the British Challenger 2. However, they both have weak gun breaches and hulls, so shoot accordingly. The Leclerc is a fine tank, one of the best in the game in fact. It can really hold its own even with some of the best American and British tanks. The problem is France doesn't really have a great backup. Don't get me wrong, the AMX-40 is good, but it just isn't the Leclerc. It's really not even a competition in my view. And until something better comes along, I would recommend taking advantage of the free backups as part of the War Thunder War Bond Shop. War Bonds are fairly easy to earn every month. You can trade them in for backups, boosters, decals, and even some premium vehicles. It's actually a great option for those of you driving something like a, like a Leclerc from France or some of Japan's offerings like the Type 90. Thankfully, patch 1.95 uh, Japan will be getting another Tech 90, but still, 
uh, Japan is in a similar boat as, as France. So use up those war bonds in the war bond shop, buy yourself some free, uh, some free backups because it's a lot cheaper than paying golden eagles for some of these backups. Backups are incredibly expensive if you use gold. Before we close out the video, I wanted to briefly talk about some of the drawbacks to the Leclerc. And there aren't that many. The first one, which I did mention earlier, is the mediocre armor in certain spots frontally. The second issue is that the tank only gets three crew members. It's a lot like the Type 90. You know, you give it an auto loader mechanism, but you remove one of the one of the crew members, and so the player is pretty easy to kill. All you have to do is lose two crew members, and you're dead. So that's a kind of a, a kind of a big drawback. The last drawback is the the APFS DS shell is a long grind. It is a tier 4 modification, and that's pretty typical of a lot of the top tier vehicles. In order to speed up your grind, you may want to look into a talisman for the Leclerc, especially if you're able to get one on sale. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's quick video. If you, if you did, click the thumbs up button, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care guys.